Watch you guys, got another mini PC uh, for review here. This is the Pepper Jobs GLK UC2X. Now this PC can be used for streaming or it can be used for home theater PC or light gaming or just general computer use. You can see it's got a triple 4K 60 Hertz outputs. So that means four displays. We've also got easy DIY upgrade, HDMI uh, 2.0, a, we also have a N4100 quad core processor, DDR4, 2400 megahertz memory, dual band Wi-Fi, which is supports AC, and a gigabit Ethernet port on there as well. Now, you can see all the specs here listed out. I'll let you uh, pause the screen and read those. You've got your storage in here, which is 64 gigabytes eMMC, uh, 5.1 storage on here. You've got storage expansion slots on here as well, and a bunch of other stuff which we'll go through in the video. So this is what you're going to get inside the kit here. It's going to give you your user manual and this will give you all the information you need about how to set it up and upgrade it. You can see it doesn't support NVMe, but it does support an M.2 SSD inside there, which is uh, useful. And also we do have uh, upgradability for the RAM, the Wi-Fi card and a bunch of other stuff. So we'll take a look at that a little bit later on. You're going to get your HDMI cable here. You're also going to get your power adapter. Now this is a universal power adapter with three parts on it, which means you can change it to which one you want for your country, which I do like these power adapters. It means you don't have to have loads of different power adapters here. So I'm going to be using the UK one, just slides on here and uh, basically clips into location. And there we go. And now we've got our power adapter all ready to go. And of course we have the unit itself, very lightweight, as you can see here, there is a fan in here, so it is fan cooled. And on the back here, we do have the 12 volt input. We have our gigabit ethernet port. We have a mini DP port. We have a HDMI 2.0A port. And we also have the type C port here, which can use as also a display port as well. These three on the back. So that means you can have triple uh, 4K 60 Hertz monitors running on this device. Plus we have an headphone uh, port on the back there as well. Now on this side we have a type C uh, USB and two uh, USB 3.0s, a micro SD card slot here which you can use extra storage on and we also have our power button. Now the GPU on this one is the UHD Graphics 600 and the processor is the Celeron processor N4100 which has 4 meg cache and also 2.4 gigahertz. Now on the bottom here, you've got a couple of little expansion bays here, which you can undo and upgrade uh, the SSD. And also you can upgrade the memory inside here, which is nice. Now I would advise you to put more memory in because it just gives you that little bit of extra speed uh, once you get it running on dual channel. Now it doesn't come as dual channel out of the box, so you will need to uh, put in the proper uh, memory inside here to get the benefit here. Now there's no way to slide this off, you have to turn it upside down and these bits will fall out once you unscrew them. And as you can see here, there is room for another uh, RAM slot in there. Now we've got a data RAM in there and that's really uh, four gigabytes. You've got your M.2 on here as well. Now this won't support NVMe, but it does support just your standard uh, M.2 slot SSD in there. Now you've got your memory also here, which is uh, got another expansion slot on here. You can put another A data in there or uh, another compatible type memory in there. Try to stick with what they've used that way. You're not gonna get any sort of problems. Bit of ventilation on the side there. And if you pull these rubber feet off, it allows you to undo the unit and take a look at the uh, GPU here. Now the GPU isn't the best. Uh, it's an Intel UHD uh, graphics 600 and it's not gonna play really hardcore games but you can see here we've got a nice uh, cooling system on here and when I put it through a torture test I didn't get any more than 62 to 65 celsius on this CPU which is very very good indeed. Now it also has a feature called TDP unlocker which increases the TDP threshold also breaks through the 6 watt TDP limits no frequency reduction and 70 plus uh, percent better than the competitors with the same processor which is an added bonus for this particular little mini PC. It's a really decent uh, system. Now if you're looking to play games just like Asphalt like this one it will play the games from the Windows Store with no problems at all as you see here 
uh, but other more intensive games you're going to struggle and that's just due to the GPU that's in here a lot of mini PCs that have this issue uh, but other games like uh, the Windows Store which you can download games for free and play will play play those uh, you know Beach Buggy Racer and games like that no problems whatsoever Asphalt uh, and other types of games like that but if you're looking to play more intensive games on here you may be disappointed but if you're looking for a dedicated gaming machine then this is not it and you may want to build yourself something that can play games for you because gaming is pretty intensive and uh, the mini PC industry hasn't quite got there just yet for those hardcore gamers but as as for this type of system it will play games like this no problems whatsoever as you can see here so maybe that's what you want it for uh, if you want it for say for instance retro games and stuff like that I've tried Dolphin on here and it struggled to play uh, GameCube games I did on times 3 I even went right away down to native uh, 720p uh, tried 720p gaming on here with retro games and you can see it's very slow um, and uh, it's not very responsive I tried native on here as well and uh, it didn't want to give us the full speed that it should be here it's still a little bit sluggish as you can see here so if you're looking for a retro gaming console uh, from a little machine maybe this is not for you as well but looking at this here 4k content being streamed down on YouTube if that's what you want it for a little general uh, streaming device or maybe just a general computer or something like that then this could be uh, a really good buy you can see here silky smooth no problems at all uh, no jerkiness or stutter in there I'll play some content here from jellyfish 120 megabits per second 4k ultra HD 10 bit content here no problems at all that's just the video starting up there that general stutter there but other than that it's nice and smooth once it's uh, stabilized as you can see beautiful uh, quality there no problems whatsoever and this is where this little mini PC comes into its own it's great at doing this sort of content you can see here playing another 4k HDR 60 frames per second no problems whatsoever just basically uh, playing that content nice and smooth there no jerkiness whatsoever and this is what this probably mini PC is designed for really just general computer use streaming content or maybe a home theater PC I've even uh, skipped through the track here as you can see and it starts up straight away no problems at all uh, so if you're looking to run uh, some benchmarks here I'll just do these for you just to show you the CPU benchmark 1757 on the single core multi course 5018 and that's on the Geekbench uh, test there I'll do the GPU test as well just so you can see what the score is on there as well so you'll know exactly what you're getting that's 12,838 on the GPU uh, test there now I did run um, Heaven uh, Valley benchmark I don't know why I bothered trying to do that because I knew it would be ultra slow and it would be ultra jerky but I just wanted to give you some sort of idea of the frame rates you're going to get if you're trying to do uh, benchmarks with this as well as you can see here pretty low frames per second was 4.9 and it gives you a low score now let me run uh, Cinebench here on the CPU so you can get a benchmark for the CPU on Cinebench here and I'll just quickly run this just so you can see uh, what sort of scores you can get and they'll be on the screen there so as you can see here we've got 252 on the CPU Cinebench score which isn't too bad I think four cores four threads for this tiny little CPU which is a Celeron uh, N4100 which is ample for most general computer work here now I wanted to do the GPU test as well so let's go ahead and run the G GPU uh, test here and you can see we've got a score of 19.44 for the GPU now it's not going to break any records I know that but it's great just to see the scores so you can get an idea of what sort of um, benchmarks you're going to get with this tiny little unit here anyway that is going to be about it for the review that is the Pepper Jobs GLK UC2X now this is a great streaming device great for all your streaming content you can see you've got triple 4k 60 Hertz monitors which will run on this system no problems at all Upgradability is there as well. Not a bad little mini PC. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you're interested in this, I'll leave the link in the video description so you can check it out. Uh, they're not cheap, these mini PCs, but if you want a mini PC that does good general computing, then this one might be for you and you've got triple displays. It's ideal for that. But anyway, have, have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.
Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.